Hi, I'm Simon from the Red Ferret and before we start this video I want to ask you to subscribe down below to stay updated on our latest, greatest, most awesome content on the space of YouTube. Let's get cracking with the video. So this is not a review, this is a first look on the GV1 new projector from BangQ. This is a 480p projector for your phone uh, to stream from YouTube to this for example. It's very portable and it's also a Bluetooth speaker. As stated, this is a pre-production unit so that means that some things might be a bit different when it goes into production and when you can buy it for example this is the unboxing and the first look i'll do a big review um another day not today because i've just received this today and i'm already doing a video so so wireless enjoyment in an instant let's see so it's 480p we vga USB-C input, USB reader, Bluetooth speaker, wireless projection, of course, auto keystone correction, and uh, it can tilt up to 15 degrees, and it has a three hour battery life. Uh, so this is the projector itself. Pretty heavy. Looks pretty durable as well. That's good. Ooh, would you look at this. So that's the 15 degree angle it can turn to, as you can see. Pretty cool with the yellow and the gray. I really like the design. What else do we have in this box? So I think these are cables and all that stuff. Oh, this is a carrying pouch. That's actually pretty nice. Wow, there are a lot of things in here. We get a quick start guide, which is great. This is a remote, Ooh, and that actually looks awesome. Look at, at this remote. Very cool, very fine looking remote. We get a USB-C to USB-C cable, which is very cool. And a carrying case, which also feels very solid. That's already very good. And then the last things, this is the uh, power adapter. So different pins for different countries. I'll need this one. The annoying thing with projectors I always find is that you have to make your room completely dark. So for the video, I'll have to make my room completely dark and I don't really like that. But hey, we'll see how it goes. So let's pull this off. Ah, it's nice. As said, this is also a Bluetooth speaker, of course. Uh, so this is a speaker grill over here. You have the different buttons on the top. These are touch buttons and the power button in the middle as well. On the back of the device, there's a USB-C input and a DC in for charging. And on the complete back, uh, there is a ring to attach it uh, to a tripod, for example, if you want to put it somewhere else. It's not extremely heavy, but it feels very durable in hand. Again, this is a pre-production unit. So this is not the one you'll be receiving when you buy it. It will be 95% similar, but some things like, for example, translation in menus will be completely okay right now. This won't be okay probably, not everything will be translated, but all those little things will be uh, okay when you buy this thing. All right, all right, woo! And I already have picture over there. Uh, let's see if you can see that over here a little bit. Maybe, let's see, oh wow, can you see that? I'm going to check on the camera, oh yeah, you can actually see that. So I've dimmed some lights so you can see that a little bit, of course, um, it's still very bright in my room right now, uh, I don't know if you can see it that well, but um, this is just for the menu so I can, of course, change this up a little bit if I want to. The further away I put it, the bigger the screen gets, of course. That's pretty uh, clear. So you can switch to Bluetooth mode, as I did right now. If I now go to my Bluetooth, I have the BenQ GV1 over here. I'll connect. All right, and it's already connected, so uh, let's play some music. Not extremely loud, but very clear sound for a Bluetooth speaker. It's okay if you go outside or for in your living room. Not the most amazing speaker ever, but it's it's definitely better than some of the speakers I've already tried that are only speakers because this is a projector as well. And that's actually very neat. So it has a built-in Wi-Fi and a built-in hotspot as well. So let's just do the Wi-Fi. So meanwhile, it's downloading a new version. I'll uh, 
put on my projection screen so you can see the real quality of this projector. So as said, this is of course a very dark room. I'm over here, if you can see me. Um, I will be only shooting with this camera, sorry for that. Um, this is just the first look and it's dark again. I just did the update, it's running the update right now. It's an Android system if you have not already noticed. Um, so I can go up to 100 inch, but it's best at 60 inch, which is still very big. So this is around 60 inch. I use the screen for my BenQ W 1700 projector. That's for a 4K projector. This is of course not a 4K projector, but a 480p, which is still awesome, of course. Look at that sharpness. Wow, that actually looks very nice. As said, I won't be going over all the features on this projector, but oh, that's very bright. Um, I'll be doing a first look. So this is really a first look, some things I'll still have to address in the complete review, of course. The remote works very, very well. Um, no problem with that, no issues with it. So you can go wireless projection for iOS and Mac OS. Uh, you can go via AirPlay. The big problem or problem, the, the big um, drawback I find with this projector is that you can't stream Netflix on this. This is not a fault of BenQ. Uh, this is Netflix and Amazon Prime and other um, streaming services that don't allow you to stream directly from Netflix to this projector, for example. And that's a really bummer, but there's a way around that. You can go via Chrome. Oh, wow, that's really bright. You can go via Chrome to Netflix and then uh, mirror cast it or mirror it or something like that. I got the explanation and it works via Chrome, that's all I know. Um, but it doesn't work via your phone, which is a bummer, I think. Of course, you can't connect your Mac via USB-C, which is awesome. So you have for Android, for iOS, wireless projection for PC, so casting. And then, of course, you have the settings, the Bluetooth, picture and your sound. I have AirPlay over here, I just selected. And then my phone should pop up and there it is. As you can see, and now I'm on my phone doing uh, AirPlay stuff. So I can now watch a YouTube video if I want to. So uh, for example, let's see your last video. Okay, so why is it not working? Um, to be honest, right now it's not working the AirPlay, so I'll check if I have another Wi-Fi. So I'm doing a speed test right now, now to see how fast the internet is. This is integrated in the projector, the speed test, so that's great. For wait per second. All right. No, I told you to play escape. So the thing is, if I play another video, for example from KSI, it works immediately. If I play a video from Red Ferret, it doesn't work. So let's. Try it again. That's the advertisement. Come on. Now just start the video. Come on. It 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 won't play the video. I don't get what the problem is. Maybe this one. Just play my video. Of course, it's not a video from the Red Ferret. It's Casey Neistat and it plays immediately. Well, why? Why? So let's try the Red Ferret again. This one. And it won't do it. What am I doing wrong? Is it because I'm I'm even not, not, not I'm not even logged into the Red Ferret, I think. What? But if I do a Casey Neistat video, for example, this one. It, it the place! Okay, so this is Why? the autopilot test on Lincoln Ave in Venice, California. Here we so, go. So, but as you can see, autopilot on. The quality we is actually the amazing. Gas and Let's and put the free. volume down a little bit. I mean, you're not supposed to. Sorry, Casey Neistat, that I'm using your video, but as you could see, I um, yeah, I, I couldn't play my own video. So this is the size of the screen. This is my arm, so you can see that a little bit. So that's the size of the screen that I'm looking at right now with that tiny projector. That's actually pretty sweet as you can see. I, I can try it with Netflix, but it probably won't work. Let's see if, if, wow, did you see that? That was Netflix. That was Netflix. 
Ah, I can't connect to a device. Ah, that's a bummer. Let's try it again. Thank you. If I do it like this. And if I go back to Netflix. Oh! Oh no, it's not possible. Come on. Let's... Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Come on. Let's just... Uh... Oh, Bird Box. Would it work? Doesn't seem possible. Ah! I think it's not possible. It says now playing on your TV, but it doesn't play it. Ah, that's a bummer. So, but uh, let's try if I can play Netflix via the Chrome browser and then stream it. Of course, the first thing you're probably saying, why would you need a projector if you can just watch on your Mac? Because now you'll be opening Chrome on your Mac or on your Windows. You'll be going to Netflix and then you'll stream it to the projector. Why? Why? You can watch it on your computer screen. Well, some people might not have a big computer screen. You might be with a lot of people in your room and it's just very neat to watch it on a projection screen. And I can cast to bank you. And that works. Wow. That's actually neat. So, um, I can now just start this video. And that works. And if I close this, would that work? Uh, it works! So, my Mac is closed. As you can see, this is my Mac. And I'm now watching... Bird Box. Very scary. I don't really want to watch it. Bird Box is playing on a tiny projector. That's very sweet. Very sweet. Yeah, I understand, Sandra. Come on. So, um, this of course also means that you can just stream anything you'd like on this. And you could just use this on your work for example as well. Could I do it with Airplay and then go to Netflix? Would that work? I don't know. I actually discovered that you can just do it via Airplay as well. So this is now AirPlay via my MacBook that it's playing. So that's actually pretty great. This is da Daniel Sloss. Very great show, really uh, enjoy it. So I'm going to close my Mac to see what happens. It stops probably. Yeah, okay. Um, so uh, you have to keep your Mac open when you're doing AirPlay. When you do it from your Chrome browser, you don't have to keep your Mac open. That's the big difference. Hey, but overall, uh, this was the first look. It was a very enjoyable experience. Oh, this is very bright. It was a very, very enjoyable experience. It actually works way better than I imagined. It's 480p, so it's not full HD, to be clear, of course. It's not 1080p, it's 480p. It's not perfect either, but it's very bright and vivid, so that's cool. And yeah, for the size of the projector like this, that's actually pretty neat. The speakers are great as well. So, um, of course, you can take this with you on a camping trip, which is very awesome, I think. And you can just put this outside uh, on the wall and project your Netflix. That's actually very neat. All right, this was the very, very first look on the BenQ GV1. I'll be doing a bigger review soon to see how good it holds up when testing it, of course. And I'll be doing a second video on this um, as soon as I've done reviewing it, of course. Right, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like down below. If you didn't, leave a dislike and tell us why so we can improve our videos. And I hope I'll see you, yes, you who's watching this behind your phone or behind your projector. I don't know. In our next video. Bye-bye.